Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video, and I feel like I need to talk about this on this channel because it is a clear indication of some of the troubles we might run into as far as PlayStation Network account linking being mandatory for PC games. I don't know if you guys knew, but PlayStation Network actually crashed last night and it was down for 12 hours. PlayStation, in all that they do, weren't very transparent about what was going on. They still haven't been very transparent, but they were down for around 12 hours. It came back early this morning, and I really do believe this is worth mentioning because it's a clear indication, and, and one of the major er, uh, worries that people have had about PlayStation Network account linking being mandatory for these games. And on top of that, it is a concern for game preservation on top of that. There were a lot of issues that happened and transpired last night with PlayStation Network account linking. Now, they weren't all that relevant for PC gamers at this point in time, but given that we know the trajectory that Sony and PlayStation want to go as far as what they do on PC, remember, their end goal is always to get you guys into their ecosystem. Your ecos Their ecosystem is PlayStation Network. PlayStation Network is what went down yesterday. You guys get the idea of what this means for the long term of PlayStation games on PC. Now, ultimately... There's a lot of talking points as far as the whole account linking uh, fiasco. What I will say, and I think everybody is in agreement with a lot of the aspects of this. First of all, nobody is that mad that you have to go to PlayStation Network account linking. It's absolutely not ideal, but we've dealt with things with Rockstar, with Ubisoft, with uh, EA so many times. The issue is PlayStation Network isn't available in a plethora of different regions. Like, you guys, I think reinstalling Twitter on my phone has been one of my worst decisions of all time because I just get inundated with these tweets. And, bro, Elon, Elon got that algorithm down to a T for me because I spent way too much time on Twitter. And I'm just reading, like, people going back and forth and then people just saying things like, Well, you know, you, you, you already do this. Why do you guys hate on PlayStation but you don't hate on other publishers for making you account? Like, like, people, first of all, do hate on other publishers, but other publishers have the wherewithal to at least have their storefront and have their account linking and their network profile, whatever you want to call it, available in every region. There are several countries where PlayStation Network just isn't available in, so GG, no re, you ain't getting to play those games, you better go sail the high seas, and in this case, I ab absolutely you know, uh, vibe with sailing the high seas if you live in a region where PlayStation Network just isn't offered. You want to spend money on it? You can't. It is what it is. On top of that, PlayStation has been under fire as far as security, network issues, everything like that. Now, have they had an instance like this where they were down for an extended period of time? Not that I can recall to this extent in recent memory. Obviously, when you talk about PlayStation and their network issues... The clear uh, point that you can go back to is spring of 2011, the week that SOCOM 4, Portal 2, and Mortal Kombat 9 all released. PlayStation Network got hit with some attack, and they were down for a month. Now, since then, they haven't had an issue to that extent. However, it is still certainly something worth talking about that they, more than a lot of other publishers, have had a plethora of network issues. There's been security issues, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, li Lizard Team, all that all that stuff, you know, that that has all happened and that has all transpired with Sony and it is certainly something to talk about and certainly when it comes to Sony, something that people are going to be cautious about. Uh, on top of that, it is generally a little bit of concern that I understand people have with giving their information to Sony. They want your information so you can be in that email newsletter so they can promote you. Oh my god, PlayStation Plus is on sale right now. Oh my god, Concord is out right now. Oh my god, did you see this new bundle of PlayStation 5? They want you to buy a PlayStation 5 console. That is what ultimately Sony wants you to do. Um, and account linking... From their vantage point, their perception, again, this isn't my perception, this is their perception, This they believe that if they get you on PlayStation Network, it is one step closer for you to dive deeper into their ecosystem, and do not get it wrong, if Sony could have it their way, even if they were releasing games on PC, they absolutely would try to figure out a way, if they could get away with it, mind you, to make PlayStation Plus a reality on PC. 
That is just what they would do. That is what Sony does. They will get away with as much as they can get away with. And that's really a lot of companies. Like, Microsoft tried to get away with, um, you know, always online, no used games on the Xbox One. And if they could have gotten away with it, they would have gotten away with it. But the pushback was the pushback. Sony is the same thing. Whatever they can get away with, they're just not dumb enough at this point to think that PlayStation Plus can be a reality on PC. What they do think is that PlayStation Network account linking can be a thing. And really, they are taking the hit on the chin as far as sales numbers go. You look at God of War Ragnarok and that game's concurrent player count. We did the numerical breakdown and the data breakdown that we have. That game did far, far worse than God of War 2018, and it was going to do a little bit worse than God of War 2018, but we compared Horizon Zero Dawn to Horizon Forbidden West as well, where Forbidden West is a direct sequel to a game and, uh, you know, came out this year but didn't have PSN account linking, and the fall-off between Horizon Zero Dawn's peak and current player count to Horizon Forbidden West was far less than God of War 2018 into God of War Ragnarok. God of War 2018 peaked at like 77,000 concurrent players. God of War Ragnarok is at like 34,000 or something like that. Horizon uh, Zero Dawn peaked at like 55k. Forbidden West peaked at like 40k. These are far cry. Like Forbidden West is peaking at a higher concurrent player count than Ragnarok. Ragnarok has absolutely sold less than uh, God of War 2018. And really, what is the element of that game that you can link back to? It is PlayStation Network account linking. And I don't think in a vacuum it's a big deal. To me, in my personal life, and how I, where I am, it's not a big deal to me. But I understand that everybody's situation is different. While I don't have a big deal, and I already have a PSN account, so it's not that big of a deal for me to log in, and I'm in a region where PSN is offered, I know that is not the case, and that's what... I feel like I try to do a good job with. I try to separate my own personal circumstances to everyone else's. I know a lot of you guys are in those regions where PSN isn't available. I know a lot of you guys have your hesitancies about giving your account information and your personal information to PlayStation. That is totally valid, and that's why I'll criticize PlayStation, and especially more than anything, not offering their service to all of these different platforms. But the point is... PlayStation Network just shut down, uh, just went down yesterday. They aren't transparent whatsoever. There has been no update. They have given out no messaging to the consumer, their PlayStation audience, as far as what's happened. And, you know, the PC audience is going to crap all over something like that. And I don't know what was the case. I didn't try to play God of War Ragnarok last night. I don't know what happened as far as, like, if you were to start up God of War Ragnarok for the first time yesterday while PSN was down, I don't think you would be able to link your account. I think you would be completely crap out of luck. That game would be a coaster for the moment being because PSN was down. And that is something that people brought up. And I find it humorous that it's come to transpire uh, just quickly after the release of, or, uh, yeah, quickly after the release of God of War Ragnarok, just the couple weeks and something like this happens i do find that a little bit um ironic so to speak so that'll do it for me let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below i will catch you guys in the next one peace out Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.